Uh, I'm Jane H. Stevens, the CEO for the Indiana Corn Growers Association, the Indiana Soybean Alliance. And this morning we wanted to, we've been wanting to do this for a while, but between our schedules and the Senator's schedules it's been difficult, but this is one of those must attend events. So we wanted to recognize a new award called Friends of the Farmers for those uh, public officials, whether it's local, state, or federal, who are doing above the job, what I would call beyond the fence, uh, at, at work for on behalf of farmers, not only in Indiana, but really in, it's the Senator's case in the entire country. And so it's our great honor today to give our first Friends of the Farmer Award to Senator Joe Donald. I'd like to introduce Kevin Wilson, uh, one of our members of our Membership and Policy Committee and a past president of the Indiana Soybean Alliance, and Ronnie Moore, also a member of the Indiana Corn Growers Association and uh, also the Corn Marketing Council, to help present the award. On behalf of all the soybean growers and uh, farmers and stuff here in the state of Indiana. It is truly an honor and a great privilege to be able to give this first award that we have today to such a, a warrior that has stuck out for all of us here in the last few years. You know, it wasn't too long ago when WOTUS stepped up and uh, <clears throat> Army Corps of Engineers and said that, you know, they thought they knew what was best and they were gonna take over the, our rights to water and, and how it affects all of our ditches and, and those type of things. And you know, when we have those type of issues pop up, you're supposed to be able to turn to your to your legislative uh, allies and, and see if they can give you some help. And you know, we turned and, and we talked to uh, Senator Donnelly, and he stepped right in. He stepped against his own party lines, and he authored a bill to try to get that taken away from us. And it's very successful, and we have a lot of credit due to him because of all of this. And uh, the issues that we currently had last year with crop insurance. And I will give you a quote, because I saw the Senator Donnelly a year ago in his office. And this issue of cutting <clears throat> uh, what crop insurance, going back in, reissuing um, the cuts, uh, and we brought this up to him, and he told us then that he would go and lay down in front of President Obama's car to make sure that he could not cross over. The president would keep going. But, <laughs> and he would go that far to make sure that those cuts did not take place. So it is indeed a great pleasure for us to, uh, to present you, Senator, with Thank the uh, so first much. award. Thank you, Thank you. Yes, uh, good morning. Uh, like I said, I'm Ronnie Moore from uh, the Corn Growers, and uh, really this is a pleasure to, to welcome the, the senator here and, uh, and everything he's done for agriculture. Uh, he has worked hard on the ethanol issues. Uh, Indiana ha uh, produces over a billion gallon of ethanol a day, and that is very, very critical for rural economies all, all the way around, not just the, the ag, but the jobs and everything else. And I just can't say enough how this, this, uh, this guy stands up. Uh, got to know him a few years ago and uh, uh, thank a lot of him. He is truly uh, fits a thing, a friend of agriculture all across the United States. He, he, he gets a lot of recognition from, from uh, all the all the different organizations and everything working at agriculture. So, with that, uh, congratulations. Thank you so very very much. Thank you. I, I, I'll just say a few words. Um, what you what you don't realize is that today is also the Notre Dame Ag alum fish fry. <laughs> <laughs> but that would be myself and Hot. So that's the whole crew. Um, this is such a special award to me because Indiana's agriculture, Indiana's uh, farmers, are the heart and soul of our state. When people think of our state, they think of us feeding the world. And that's what we do every day, is there are people all over the world who are able to get a full stomach and a good meal because of what we've done. We fuel the world um, with the products that we have as well. And so 
um, we take enormous, enormous pride in, in being known as the place that helps feed the world, fuel the world. And when they look, they say, the common sense of our farm community too. And that's why when I talk to groups like the EPA, to Gina McCarthy and the other ones, I say, put your trust in us. We'll never let you down, we never have let you down. That's why WOTUS never made any sense to me. As I said, who knows better than, than Ronnie and Kevin who live right there on the farm, who deal with um, these issues every single day. Who wants cleaner water? Who wants uh, a safer place than the families whose kids run around there every day? And I always tell them, I said, look, go up in a helicopter with me, ride around, and tell me how you're gonna regulate every one of those farm ponds. Tell me how you're gonna regulate every one of those ditches. And so when you work together with us, the results are always better. And we've seen on WOTUS that it's coming our way. It's coming our way more every single day. And so to all of you, thank you so much for this award. It's a, it's a great, great honor. Um, my wisdom on ag issues comes from you. What I've always said is, is when I was first a congressman, Kevin was on my advisory board up in our congressional district um, ag group. And I said, look, I take my marching orders from you on these issues because you know so much more than me. You have so much more wisdom than me in this. And, and that's what we've tried to do. And as a consequence, our waters are cleaner, our winds are safer, our yields are higher, and our country is better off. So to all of you, you make our country run. One other thing, as a member of the Notre Dame Ag Alumni Club, I called up Purdue and said, since Bobby Knight and Gene Cady are here, do you want me to bring Digger Phelps? <laughs> and they said, absolutely not. <laughs> That was more exhibit of great wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> but to all of you, thank you so much. It's a great, great honor. Um, and I think our best years are ahead. So thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you.